quite amazing when you come here early, the amount of work that is going oh, on. Oh, absolutely. Leaf blowers and everything else to make it look really beautiful. And it does. It looks magnificent. Yes, it? it really does. And again, I mean, we said at the beginning of the top end of the show, a massive thank you to Marlow Town Council for everything they do. But they have worked tirelessly. They were all they were here. All the uh, officers of the council were here very early in the morning. And uh, Roger and Andrew getting everything ready. Um, and also the Marlow Brass Band is here as well. Uh, which Tam- Marlow Tan Band, oh, I Tam- apologise, isn't Marlow Tan Band, are here. And they will be uh, leading the hymns during the service as well. And I think there's over 20 of them today, so which is wonderful. And they yeah. all look very smart in their Marlow Town Band uh, uniforms. They do. They do look they very, do. very respectful. And of course you've been hearing them in the background while we've been talking earlier on. Uh, they've been playing. Yes, it's so any moment practicing. Now, any moment now, the parade marshal. But so we're just waiting for these last bit, last people to get into place. I think now the all the brownies, guides, scouts, cubs. Right. Here we go. There's always some dogs that don't like the loud noises that <laughs> add to our atmosphere. So just last few people getting into position now. Sean from the British Legion is there. Just taking a salute. And then Simon Wilkinson will be handing over to Reverend Canal, Canon Daveville, who will be leading the service on behalf of Churches Together in Marlow. Good morning, and on behalf of the Town Council, the Royal British Legion and the Churches Together in Marlow, a very warm welcome to this ceremony of remembrance. Most of us have taken for granted during our lifetimes that our country is not at war. But war and the longing for peace dominate our news today. We watch with horror as lives are lost in Gaza and Israel. We see the renewed intensity of the war between Ukraine and Russia as winter draws in. We see hundreds of thousands move to march for peace. And we are reminded that peace is not automatic. Peace is fragile. Peace is costly. We are here to remember and show gratitude to those who paid the ultimate price, who laid down their lives in war so that we can live in peace. We pay tribute to those who lived their lives with an empty place at their table where a loved one should have been. We offer profound gratitude to veterans who returned from active service but carried for the rest of their lives the traumatizing pain of witnessing firsthand the horrors of war. We are here today because we're determined not to forget them and to remind ourselves that peace is worth sacrifice. Our readings and prayers remind us of the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ. Christians believe that in Jesus, 
God has visited our world and shown us exactly who he is. In Jesus' death on the cross, we therefore see the ultimate sacrifice, God himself giving his own life for the love of others. Through his death, we find endless potential for forgiveness, reconciliation, peace, and love with God, with one another, and even with our enemies. As we pledge ourselves anew to serving one another, let us remember that peace begins with us. In ways big or small, each of us can help to build a nation of peacemakers, showing compassion to our neighbors, kindness to those with whom we disagree, and generosity to refugees. We each have a part to play. Pour nos amis de Mal et le Roi, un accueil très chaleureux à vous. Merci d'être encore parmi nous cette année. Votre présence ici est très importante pour nous et nous vous remercions pour votre amitié et votre fidélité. We begin with the words of the bidding. Let us offer our thanksgivings to Almighty God for the victory achieved on land, at sea, and in the air, and for the liberation of so many from the cruelty of occupation and oppression. Let us give thanks for the heroism and courage of those who serve in the armed services, who work in civil defense, hospitals and relief agencies, in factories, shops, and farms. And let us pray for those who endure captivity, torture, or death, that others might be free. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, 
and all who have lived and died in the service of humanity. And now we have uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sean Murphy. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Home, tell of us to your tomorrow we gave our today.
most merciful and ever-living God. We remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. Grant that we, being faithful till death, may receive with them the crown of life that never fades through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. first wreath has been laid by the Deputy Lieutenant of Buckinghamshire and he'll be followed by the Town Mayor of Marlow, the Mayor of Marley Loire and a representative of the Buckinghamshire Council. Here goes the Mayor of Marlow. Mayor of Marley Loire is going up now. It's very elegant, red, red, white, and blue sash. First World War, names of the fallen: P. J. Allen, W. E. Allen, W. H. Allwood, H. G. Arbor, C. V. Austin. A. Ayers, P. E. Barker, A. Barnes, A. E. Bartlett, G. Bartlett, J. E. Bath, H. J. Batting, N. W. F. Baines, W. H. Beaver, H. Belden, N. Belden, E. E. Benning, H. Blick, E. Bowles, A. F. Bowles, H. Bowles. H. J. Boynton, G. Bristow, J. T. Brooks, A. Brown, E. Brown, H. R. Brown, A. F. Brunsden, R. Bryant, R. G. Buckle, G. Burnham, W. Burt, W. J. Butler, F. Cadell, A. J. Carter, F. J. Carter, J. Clancy Military Medal, S. Clancy, E. H. Clark, E. H. W. Clark, H. Clark, S. W. Clark, F. A. Coleshill, W. Collier, C. W. Collins, H. T. Collins, C. Cooper, T. Cooper, A. E. Copestake, T. Couchman, G. H. Cresswell, A. W. Crew, R W Crew, C F Daines, S R Demont, G E Davis, G E Dean, H W Dean, T J Dean, H De Swart, D A Dixon, E E H Dimmock, S H L Douglas Crompton, H C Dunn, W T East, W Eaton, G. Edwards, H. Edwards, O. L. Edwards, J. A. Exall. And the mayor is now handing over to a uh, sea cadet continuing to read w. the names G. of the fallen Letcher. from the First World War. R. C. Forrest, H. R. Foster. J. Frith, C. Firmston, J. A. J. Gale, G. W. Gibbs, P. M. Gibson, M. C. M. M. O. G. Godfrey Fawcett, D. S. O. F. H. Golding, A. G. Gordon, F. H. Goulstone, H. Grace, H. W. Grace, 
W. G. Grove, J. H. Gutridge, H. J. P. Haddon, A. E. Harris, E. H. C. Harris, G. F. Harris, P. F. Harris, H. H. Harvey, L. Hawks, C. E. Horton, A. Hicks, G. W. Hobbs, M. M. A. R. Horn, T. W. Jackson, D. S. M. E. R. Jacobs, A. W. Jones, A. Joys, R. S. Keats, M. King, E. W. Lampard, A. Langdon, F. Langley, J. L. Langley, W. Larkin, G. W. Latham, H. Lawson, A. G. Lewis, W. Lewis, C. E. S. Lillystone, J. S. Lloyd, W. J. Loring, J. Lovegrove, E. Lowe, C. J. Lennon, H. F. Lennon, K. F. McKenzie, W. D. Marshall, N. J. Mitchell, A. C. Moody, G. H. Moores, L. A. Moores, W. J. Moores, DCM, C. F. Morris, A. G. Mundo, G. K. Napa, W. H. New, C. Newell, G. C. Nichols, G. W. J. North, W. J. Norton, W. N. Nottingham, R. T. Nusson, G. Owen, H. Owen, J. Owen. And the reading is taken over now by... C. C. Oh, Payne, H. F. Palmer, W. C. Pierce, A. H. Peddle, A. Perry, A. E. Powell, A. J. W. Power, F. Price, H. H. Price, T. A. Probert, W. J. Rant, J. W. C. Redding, A. G. Roberts, L. Roberts, H. E. Roblet, A. Rose, J. Rose, R. Ross, G. E. Savin, E. Sears, A. Sewell, J. P. Shipton, G. W. Sylvie, J. W. Simmons, W. H. Simmons, H. W. S Smith, J. T. Smith, S. H. Smith, S. Sparks, T Sparks, S Spears, S B Spray, B J R Stacy, S Steel, A T Stepto, J H Stepto, H Stevens, H A I B Stokes M C, J Stone, T S Stroud, W F Stroud, E A Sutton, F G Swaddling. F. H. Swaddling, F. C. Taylor, G. H. Thatcher, J. Fawn, H. Tilbury, A. Todd, A. Todd, W. Todd, so H. Topple, Marlow H. Chamber R. of Trade Trim, and Commerce, the Community Trust, Association, the Marley Town Twinning w. Association, Turner, S. J. Turney, approaching R. J. Turney, to G. Verney, W. D. Wayne, E. Wallam, W. G. Warner, A. M. Weller, E. C. Wellicum, M. Wellicum, W. C. Wellicum, W. C. Werrell, R. A. West, C. G. White, R. E. A. White, R. H. White, G. Whittingstall, J. H. T. Willis, A. G. Wills. And our army cadet will hand over to an air cadet to read the names of the fallen from the Second World War and Afghanistan. C. S. Anston. I. H. Atwood. R. E. Balfour. 
C, F, Balfour. J, Barnshaw. M, P, Letcher. R, A, Booth. N, R, Branch. F, N, Bridge. R, I, Britnell. J, M, And wreaths have just been laid for the Marlowe Town Twinning Association of the Jumelage. And now comes G, the Marlowe Town Regatta Festival L, and the various F, Rotary Carter. Clubs in Marlowe. The Inner G, Wheel, Clark. Round Table, 41 F, Club, C, Tangent Club, w, Clements, the Masonic Centre, U3A, and the Pipe Band, M, D, and Animals D, of War Proxim, will all be laying wreaths. H, G, Day. W, Eagleton. E, Q, England. R, L, Farmer. D, Field. T, E, Flowett. R, C, Fowler. J, E, Grange, Smith. S, F, Hampshire. M, M, A, Hargrove, M, R, S. A, G, I, Harris. D, F, Hiller. L, V, Hilston. P, H, T, Hall. F, A, Hook. G, P, Horlick. A, Howard. G, C, Hunt. A, E, Jackson, D, F, M. C, W, Jeskins. J, H, Jeffrey. D, F, McKay. H, E, Meadows. G, D, May. H, W, Morgan. W, F, Morris. S, E, Morton. R, Nash. G, T, Peck. A, W, F, Ranscom. R, H, Rowe. L, R, Ryan. L, D, V. D, T, M, Selman, M, C. I, P, Shipton. G, Slade. M, Smith, W, R, N, S. P, R, Smith. A, T, Stevens. R, Stone. F, G, Strud Strudley. C, S, Studley. C, D, C, Swaddling. G, C, Tanner. F, J, Todd. E, C, TV. A, S, Tub. S, I, Ty. S, William. F, J, Reverend. G, E, F, Reverend. A, V, T, Wheeler. J, C, Wheeler. D, H, White. P, M, Willis. E, S, I, Winslade. L, R, Woods. Finally, J.D. Windle. the wreaths that are here will now be laid in the order that they arrived and the very final wreath very poignantly is the Archie Beatty memorial wreath it's former Scots guard Archie Beatty who at the age of 56 fell ill minutes after laying his wreath he was given the honour for his service in the Falklands he pulled a wounded colleague to safety during heavy Argentinian fire um, and he died after collapsing halfway through a Remembrance Day service. So the very last wreath that will be laid today is the Archie Beatty Memorial The reading wreath. is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 5 to 13. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, 
you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now, remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that was the Reverend Kate Strange from the Marlow Methodist Church, and she'll be followed by prayers, the first prayer being read by Cal- Councillor David Brown, the town mayor. A prayer for lives shattered by war. Loving God, we pray for all who are bereaved and who suffer as a result of war. For the injured and disabled, for the mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and humankind has weakened or destroyed. For the homeless and refugees, for those who are hungry, and for those who have lost their livelihoods and security. Bring us all with them to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The next prayer is from the Lieutenant Colonel Sean Murphy, President of the Marlow Royal British Legion. A prayer for the armed forces. Almighty God, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect the armed forces. Grant that meeting danger with courage and all occasions with discipline and loyalty, they may truly serve the cause of justice and peace. To the honour of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the next prayer will come from Sergeant Ben Thomas. A prayer for peace. God of our joy and gladness, hear our prayer for the peace of this world and bring us at last with all our companions in faith to the peace of the city where you live and reign. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and for all eternity. Amen. And then we have the final prayer from Lieutenant Colonel Wilkinson, the A prayer for the Sovereign. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, bless our Sovereign Lord, King Charles, and all who are in authority under him, that they may order all things in wisdom and equity, righteousness and peace, to the honour of your name, and the good of your church and people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us join together as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
town clerk, Hilary Martin, is now going to read a poem called The Poppy by Paul Hunter. The Poppy. I am not a badge of honour. I am not a racist slur. I am not a fashion statement to be worn but once a year. I am not glorification of conflict or of war. I'm not a paper ornament, a token. I am more. I am a loving memory of a father or a son, a permanent reminder of each and every one. I'm paper or enamel. I'm old or shining new. I'm a way of saying thank you to every one of you. I am a simple poppy, a reminder to you all that courage, faith and honour will stand where heroes fall. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and humanity, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Please join me in saying together, Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all people in the cause of peace for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your spirit. Give us wisdom. Give us courage. Give us hope. And keep us faithful. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Thank you so much for gathering this morning for this ceremony of remembrance. Thank you to those of you who were praying the rain would stop. I've been asked to uh, announce as well the Royal British Legion would like to invite all parade participants and veterans and serving personnel back um, to the Legion Club, which is down by Marlow Station after the ceremony has finished. And now a final prayer asking for God's blessing. Let us pray. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the king, the commonwealth, and all people, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. The parade commander will now bring the parade to attention and request permission to dismiss from Lieutenant Colonel Simon Wilkinson and Deputy Lieutenant of Buckinghamshire. The Deputy Lieutenant and the dignitaries will be escorted to the saluting base in the High Street, which is near the Gold Post Box, and the parade reforms for the march past and return to the Royal British Legion headquarters. Major Andrew Robertson, RLC, is the parade commander. He's marching up the causeway. The standards are raised again and the parade will prepare to reform for the march past. And they will of course be marching right up the high street to the cenotaph around the, s uh, uh, to the obelisk, around the obelisk and back down the high street, take the salute and then return down Station Road to the Royal British Legion. And yet again, the, just the most amazing ceremony put on by everybody in Marlow. Just everybody is such a credit to our incredible town. They really are. Um, they all look so smart, don't they? They really, really do. And uh, as always, beautifully organised, an incredibly smooth event that is just so deeply moving. And we've been blessed, of course, with uh, no rain. No rain, of course, we're very grateful for. So you'll start to hear marching feet in a moment as they all start to... And the swirl of the pipes. And again. It's just the most splendid sight, isn't it, to see this? And uh, we've got a front row seat, which is fantastic. But uh, hopefully, everybody that's lining the high street to watch this incredible parade. I think they're getting very excited me. as they hear the pipes coming up I the high street it. towards oh, them. It's I a love lovely it. sound, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. 
Yeah. Everyone, yeah. As you say, so, everyone looks so smart. Yes, so, they so really smart. do. And uh, so beautifully dressed. And more or less all in step as well. I think I'd be the one that was just one <laughs> step out all the time. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, and we are very grateful to the town council for their, all their hard work in putting this together and uh, uh, the team that have worked tirelessly to make sure this goes just as smoothly as it has done. And, uh, and you'll be able to watch back the, the video of the whole event that Tim has been doing today. It will be on our Facebook page. The, the um, YouTube link is there and you can go and watch that anytime and uh, see if you can spot your face in the crowd or your partner, child in the lined up. Sadly, you won't see a picture of us. No, or maybe but, but maybe that's we're, we're always behind a microphone, Mike. That's our job. <laughs> maybe, for that's our job. <laughs> maybe fortunately. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But um, massive thank you to the to our deputy lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Simon Wilkinson, and to to uh, Reverend Dave Bull from All Saints, Pastor Ken Bird from the Bird from the Newfield Community Church, and the Reverend Kate Strange from Marlow Methodist Church. And then the parade commander, of course, was Major Andrew Robertson. Uh, the parade marshal was warrant officer Steve Mc Steve King, and Lieutenant Sean Kurt Moore Murphy retired who is the president of the Marlow Royal British and Legion. And just works tirelessly, <laughs> he doesn't does. he? He really does. But it's interesting to note, isn't it, that the money that's taken for Poppy Day, and there's, you know, fortunately, it, there's been a lot of money taken, that goes to the Royal British Legion for use for all their good works. Yes, The yes. Royal British Legion Club in Marlow is a separate entity. And it needs support. And it needs, it does it need needs support, both financial, financial support. and otherwise, yes. So, and... Uh, then Paul Tyler, who's the president of the Royal British Legion Club, yep. as Mike mentioned, uh, and of course the wonderful Scots Guard Association Pipe Band, the Marlow Town Band, Simon Davy, who just does the last post in the Ravalli, so incredibly beautiful. And then thank you to Marlow United Football Club, who provided stewards for the event, uh, the APSE stewards, all the volunteer stewards as well. So everybody has just done such an incredible job and we uh, really applaud them all for all all the work that they have done so we'll play our own little bit of marching music now to finish us off <laughs> 